When you find yourself looking at the blazing sun, ask yourself, can an object have two shadows instead of one? I'll give you a second. And yes, two shadows are possible when it comes to exoplanet Kepler-16b. The thing is, it revolves around two stars in the constellation of Cygnus. Two sources of light mean two shadows. That makes sense. Trust me, there are a lot of other incredible phenomena hidden on other planets that even movies never showed us. Make yourself comfortable and join my little game to find out what you know about the strangest things occurring on other planets. And of course, you've already got one point if you answer the first question about shadows correctly. What unusual planet surfaces can be found in space? I'll give you three descriptions, and you'll have to tell the wrong one. So, a surface so hot that it tears the planet's molecules apart. Jade surface, or a surface covered by smooth ocean waters. Planet Kelt 9b is hotter than most stars. Its daytime temperature reaches 4,000 degrees Celsius. This heat tears hydrogen molecules apart in the planet's atmosphere. They form again at night when the star's solar radiation stops affecting the surface. There's no rain on exoplanet Gliese 1214b, but there is a lot of water wherever you look. This planet is one big ocean. Only its bottom is a solid core made of ice. And even that is compressed, not frozen water. But who cares about the ocean when there are literally huge jewels floating through space? However, they're diamonds, not jades. Planet 55 Kenkri E is eight times larger than Earth, and its chemistry contains a high proportion of carbon. This element forms thick layers of graphite and diamonds in the planet's bowels. But currently, it's no more than a scientific assumption. And you score another point if you've chosen the second option. Which conflicts are happening in space? One of these statements is an absolute lie. A planet devours a star. A star undresses a planet. Or a planet defies the laws of physics. This is Gliese 436b, an exoplanet that lies in the constellation of Leo. Apparently, the laws of physics mean nothing to it. It revolves around its star, being 15 times closer to it than Mercury is to the Sun. And still, it has an icy surface that can heat up to more than 400 degrees Celsius. But the ice doesn't vaporize. The gravity there is so strong that it compresses trace amounts of vapor in the atmosphere into solid ice. This prevents it from melting, regardless of how much heat it's exposed to. But I get the feeling there's something wrong with this algorithm. As well as with the relationship between exoplanet Gliese 1132b and the star it orbits. This star's intense radiation probably destroyed the original hydrogen-helium atmosphere of the planet. The star undressed it, but Gliese didn't get embarrassed and got itself another atmosphere thanks to volcanic activity. But now the star is already trying to rip off the new thing as well. Those suns, that's just what they do. Manipulate planets and objects around them, and it's never the other way around. This makes the first option a lie, and you receive plus one point if that's what you picked. Here's another proof. WASP-12b is literally being devoured by its star and loses 6 million tons of its mass every second. Besides, the star's tidal forces distort the planet's body and turn it into an egg. A smoked egg, to be exact. In theory, there may be even more surprising geometric shapes up in space. Which phenomenon is hypothetically possible in space? One of these options is false. A tailless comet, the tenth planet of our solar system, or a donut-shaped planet. Yeah. 
some scientists actually believe that donut-shaped planets can exist in outer space. They're called toroidal planets. In theory, this shape can appear under the influence of two oppositely directed forces. So far, such planets haven't been found. Unlike a tailless comet that has even been captured by scientists. Usually, comets leave trails because they're made of ice. But the object astronomers have detected looks more like a comet and an asteroid hybrid. It's made of rock and covered with ice. And it has no tail. The second statement is false, since scientists have suggested that there's a ninth, not tenth, planet. Don't forget that Pluto was stripped of this status. The hypothetical ninth planet is ten times heavier than Earth, and its existence could explain the abnormal behavior of certain space objects in the Kuiper Belt. Perhaps the giant planet's influence is what makes them orbit in such an unusual way. If you got it right, you've got one more point. Which of these three myths isn't really a myth? Footprints of the first people to step on the moon have long been erased. There's a planet that is as old as our universe. Every planet has a star it revolves around. It's been a little more than 50 years since Americans landed on the moon, but their footprints are still there. Same as the tracks left by modern lunar rovers. The fact is, there's no wind or rain on the moon. Consequently, unless a meteorite hits it and erases those footprints from the ground, they're going to remain there forever. Just like planet Methuselah in the constellation of Scorpius, it seems that it's always been there. This is the oldest planet in our universe. Its estimated age is 13 billion years. It's almost three times older than Earth, which is 4.5 billion years old. Methuselah revolves around an unusual pair of burnt-out stars in the core of a globular cluster tightly packed with more than 100,000 other objects. And now, meet HD 106906b, a planet that can seemingly live without a star at all. This is a lonely planet situated in the constellation of Crux. It orbits its star at a distance of 96 billion kilometers, and that's 20 times more remote than Neptune is from the Sun. And you receive plus one point if you decided to stick with option number two. All right, I guess it's time to check the total score. If you got four or five points, you can change your first name to Hubble because you must have seen some truly extraordinary things. Three or two points, you're like the James Webb Space Telescope. Pretty awesome, but only in the early days of your explorative adventure. One point, you seem to be Galileo, and you probably finished your career after exploring Jupiter in the 90s. But that's okay. Subscribe to the channel and learn a lot of other unbelievable facts about planets and space.